By late summer, the corral tanks contained the only standing water for kilometers around. The canyon's more mobile insects are drawn to this one last oasis. For those able to travel, this water is a lifesaver. Bees and wasps can carry the water back to their distant nests. But this tiny pool of water lies just beyond the boundary of the corral colony's territory. With no end in sight, such desperate times call for desperate measures. As the search widens, a small group of corral workers head towards the trough. This is unfamiliar ground for them, and they are heading toward disaster. Near the trough, they stumble across other honey ants, and then a nest entrance. It's only 40 meters from the corral colony, but that's been enough to keep these two nests in mutual ignorance for all these years. These new honey ants are unlike any the corral workers have encountered before. They are big and aggressive. Instead of backing down, they meet the challenge head on, and the encounter begins to escalate. For the first time in its history, the corral colony may have met its match. Sensing the worst, the corral workers begin to fall back towards their own nest. The trough workers go on the offensive. The retreat quickly turns into a rout. Stragglers are picked off. The fight is carried right to the entrance of the corral colony. Even here on their own doorstep, they can't hold their ground. The attacking trough workers drive on into the nest. As news of the attack reaches the Corral Queen, she withdraws to the deepest chambers, her entourage of nurses in tow, carrying the valuable brood. Battle spreads down into the tunnels. Slowly, inexorably, it spreads down through the shafts towards the deeper part of the nest. Some dead workers are carried off for processing. The invaders take everything from eggs to newborns.
many are eaten where they fall. They empty chamber after chamber. Finally, the invaders overcome the last resistance and break through into the royal bunker. The Corral Queen and her broods are trapped and completely helpless. Held by each leg, the Queen is on the rack. First stretched, then dismembered. It is a gruesome and ignominious end for this once great ruler. In just a few hours, the Corral colony has been annihilated. The nest emptied. Too late for the corral colony, the drought finally breaks. A great storm heralded the start of the corral queen's story. And now, eight years later, another marks its brutal end. But somewhere, out in the desert, the Queen's royal daughters are fighting their own battles, continuing her dynasty. The Queen may be dead, but her empire lives on.